Okay, here we are installing the E-Track. We're gonna have one on the bottom and one on the top. So about three foot, the bottom one is about three foot off the ground and then the, the top one will be about six foot off the ground, right? Yeah, yeah we're gonna have the top about six foot. About six foot off the ground. And um, so we got the screws for the E-Track. They're these screws. How long are they, these screws? Uh, inch and three quarters. They're an like inch and a three quarter. And we are drilling through the aluminum frame to put the screws in. And they're normally about 24 inches apart. So we measure all that up first, mark all the holes, and Through. Where do we buy these um, e tracks from? We bought it from a uh, utility, utility. Uh, trailer With supply. Trailer supply. Mm -hmm. But I think you can get it from anywhere. Any trailer dealer? Okay. Yeah, they do install too, but we decided to do it ourselves since we have all the tools because we used to do we used to do our marble and granite countertops, so we have a lot of tools. And and he used to be an <laughs> aviation mechanic working on airplanes, so most of these tools are it's still was fun working on an airplane and doing great at of course. So, we decided to do this ourselves. Hopefully, we'll be done tomorrow because we started late. So, we got three here. Huh? Nothing. Talking to myself. <laughs> We also, what we did was we used the load box to line it up and hold it up while we drill. So we measured everything and we it up like that. We put one just to hold it up flat against the wall. And all the way down. Okay guys, the first one is done. Now we're doing the top one. And the top one measured about, um, 73 inches from the ground and we use every single what six seven load box to hold it up after we measured it I'm sure there is a better way to do it but we are just util utilizing whatever we have to make it work and lots of drilling and lots of screws I think we're, we need to use 210 screws total to secure everything and it is a lot harder than we thought because these these e tracks are so freaking heavy. And oh, so we had to modify it a little bit because that the length of this is supposed to fit from end to end, but apparently it doesn't fit our uh, Vanguard reefer trailer some reason we had to cut off this much to make it fit right there like that so yep so we took this off and we are doing it with every single one of them and yeah we're on the second one and two more to go right two more to go no, two more to go after this one. <laughs> Alright, we are finally done with the E tracks. It's looking good. And then also, we use um, this 
can't see it. This stuff uh, is caulk for the trailers. Um, so whatever hole I see from the people loading and unloading, some scrapes and stuff, I went ahead and patched everything. Where did I patch? I don't even see. Oh, you see this line right here? I don't know if you can see it, but it's a huge line. And patch that. And along with some few other minor uh, spots. So, looking good. Now we don't need these. These are a pain in the butt. Especially when you go get your load, loading and unloading, those people just run it over. And sometimes they take them and you forget to put them back in your trailer and then you need to spend more money buying them. So sick and tired of that. So we installed these. Um, four of these we purchased for, um, I believe it was about $1,500. And then the bag of screws that came with, I think, 250, I believe. We only we used uh, 210. That's what we needed. Um, it was almost 100 bucks for that bag of screws. But we are finally done. Now we can book a load for tomorrow.